got the world's best RC car, and this is the latest version. This is the Traxxas X-Max ATS. This one here is the version 1X Max, and this is the RC car that started this YouTube channel. And also the RC car that got my channel first noticed. This one ran on 6S LiPos, and it did have a few problems. So they came out with this, the version 2 8S. So this one here is the most featured RC car on this channel, and probably the world's most famous X Max. So the version 2 came with 8S motor and speed controller, stronger differentials, centre differential, but it still had a few problems. So they quietly came out with another version, the version 3 maybe, I don't know. And this one had thicker threads on the bottom of the shock shafts because these used to break off. This one, which I think is probably now on like version 4. I've lost count because the versions kind of came out quietly. This one has added protection on the body, bigger bearings, front and rear. And I don't know, if there's anything else, let me know in the comments. So we're going to take it out for a rip in a minute, but first I want to show you a few features and do a couple of minor upgrades. We've got double wishbone suspension, front and rear with massive coilover shocks. It's four-wheel drive and it's made almost entirely from plastic which is good because it keeps weight down it keeps cost down and durability up a lot of these cars with metal chassis need expensive aftermarket upgrades like m2c racing to make them durable i would say that x max is the most durable rc car of its size that you can buy but we can make a few minor improvements. Let's have a look at old trusty. We've got a Max 6 speed controller for added performance and reliability. Steel gears, RPM rear hub carriers, send hinge pins, upgraded servo. So that's what we're going to fit onto the new one. Then we're going to take it out for a rip. Now I would say that these upgrades here are essential for extreme bashing. And these ones here optional for a little bit more reliability and a bit more performance. Now you could push the boat out and go extreme with upgrades with all the M2C parts and big block motors however that does add quite a lot of weight and the extra power puts a lot more stress on the whole entire drivetrain so this for me offers the best compromise between reliability and performance all right that's enough waffle let's get it on then take it out for a burn so i'm going to start off with taking the wheels off to make it all easier to work on so on the stock pin system, as the hub sits in there, if you was to crash, all the load is transferred to only one half of the arm. On these new send pins, these ones here are actually made by RPM. Different companies like M2C make them as well. These ones are RPM. They bolt straight through with a nut on the end that shares the load over both sides, making it double as strong. You just got to open the back side of the hole up to four millimeters. I've also put a send pin up there and on the front here as well. I don't bother there and there because there gets in the way of the steering and I've never really had a problem there anyway. Next up, I'm going to get rid of these training wheels because I find when you're back flipping and doing other stunts, they just get in the way. In the box, you also get this little rubber spacer thing to replace it. So these are the pins that line up the mesh and we are going to be running a 46 tooth spur gear and a 19 tooth pinion. A lot of people have problems with these pinions coming off so I'll get a bit of brake cleaner and make sure I clean all the thread inside and clean the thread on the grub screw. Look at all that dirt coming off of there. Next, super strong stud lock and I'm also using a grub screw with a flat bottom. And I'm not going to fully lock this screw up until we got all the spur gear in and line it up properly. So I'll do all the screws up only part of the way with the Ugga Dugga, then do the rest of it by hand to save all the threads. And now we can align the pinion and do it up really tight. Next up, underneath the steering, there is a post and it snaps off relatively easily. So we just get a screw, a bit of hot glue, hot glue in the hole, screw in the hole, job done. So these are the only mods that you need for maximum durability. The next couple of mods are going to give it a little bit more reliability and a little bit more performance. So I'm going to be fitting a perfect pass servo 
one of the best servos that I've used in many of my RC cars. These are waterproof, loads of torque, loads of speed, metal geared, metal case. Next, I've got to drill a new hole into the servo horn to make sure that we keep with the standard X-Max steering geometry. Next up, we're going to make a couple of adjustments to the steering assembly. So this here is a servo saver assembly. This is a standard spring, however, it's a little bit soft. So here I've got some welding wire that I wrap around into a circle. And I've turned it into a spacer, so you put it back together again with a spring and it's gonna stiffen up that servo saver. And then I'm gonna put it back together again with a longer screw so you can get a nut on the bottom to stop it all from coming loose in future. So now that's gonna give us a lot stronger and more positive steering. Normally when X-Max steering goes bad, it's because something's binding, something's gone stiff. So you wanna take it all apart, make sure that all the joints move freely, and then put it back together. Again. All we got to do now is fit the Max 6 ESC and then we can go rip. Now some people like to fit the bigger Max 5 ESC, however the Max 6 it fits in the stock location perfectly and it keeps the weight of the truck down. Heavy X Maxes mean more damages so I like to keep the X Max weight down as low as possible. Next I've got to solder on some connectors, I'm going to use these ones here from Onyx. They're compatible with IC5s and EC5s, they just hold together a lot better. So that's the chassis complete. So all we've got to do now is paint up a body shell to replicate the most famous X-Max in the world. But before that, let's see if it works. So I'm going to be running it on these Onyx LiPos because they give loads of power and they fit inside the X-Max perfectly. A test, baby. Check out the power of that perfect pass servo. Especially on car peaks. And power. Now Trax has claimed that this truck can do 50 mile an hour, but with a Max 6, I reckon it's going to go faster. And we're going to check it with a GPS. And let's get this body painted, then we can take it out for a blast. So first of all, we're going to degrease the body, then we're going to fit all the window masks, then key up all the surface so the paint's got somewhere to stick to, then paint it with my favourite colour, legendary red, back it with white to make the colour pop, then tint the windows, fit the roll cage, and then finish it off with our custom stickers. Now we could put these stickers on it to make it look like the legendary X-Max, but I reckon it'll look better if we make it look like the monster truck. And here I've got some stickers, so we can. Now a lot of you guys have been saying that you want to get some stickers so you can decorate your RC cars, so I've put some in the merch shop down below. I haven't got any this size yet, I've had to get these ones custom made because they're a little bit oversized, but I'll put some smaller ones in there. Later on, if there's a demand, I might start adding some bigger ones. Oh man, look at that! Now I've set up a competition where one of you viewers can win this car. I'm going to tell you more about that later, or just click in the link down below, and all the details for that is going to be there. But guys, this can be your X-Max, the game over X-Max. So I've been bashing X-Maxes since the day they've come out and since this channel first began. And over the years, I've found my hot picks to what I think is the ultimate bash -a spec X-Max that you can build. And this particular one here can become yours. Right, let's take it out for a rip. Here we are on location. I'm going to give it a little run around here. Next over there has got a really stupid idea. It's going to be really, really expensive and um, we'll, we'll get back to that in a minute. Here we go, first run with the X-Max.
a brand new X Max, it feels so smooth. Oh, look at that, two wheels. Straight up and two wheels. We've got the power of that perfect pass servo. Look at that, straight on two wheels. Look at that, does it easily. Let's get you back up on two wheels again. There we go, look at that, easy. Oh no! New body! Footage! So Max has got a daft idea. We kind of both got a daft idea. So Max reckons if you just go flat out without across the field, it's probably going to do about 50, 60 mile an hour and try and get through this gap. Max reckons it will make it through somehow, reckon, but in pieces. I reckon it'll take the arms off and just be in tons and tons of pieces. I reckon it will just get caught on there, not make it through. So Max is going to give it a go. If it makes it through, like the diff, if the front diff, the crown wheel makes it through, I've got to pay for the damage. If it doesn't make it through, Max has got to pay for the damage. Sounds so, fair to me. So let's play a little bit more with the X-Max, <laughs> and then we're going to give that a go. I would do it with the X-Max, but one of you guys are going to win it in this competition, so I don't want to ruin it for you. Anyway, if you want to win this car, link to that is down below in the description. Next, we're going to give it a quick speed run. Max has got this special app thing that reads the speed. Go on there. Let's go on. I reckon it'll do 45 on grass and 50, 55 on concrete, maybe. What do you reckon? I reckon about 40, 45. I reckon we get 50 on grass. No way. We're just wheeling. Or maybe you did the thing first. Read 50. 50. That's got more in it. So Max has got his sledge. Uh, let's have a look underneath quickly. What have you done to it? So oh, it's got M2C motor mount. M2C chassis, power HC servo, the new Hobby Wing Max 8 combo. All right, let it whip. <laughs> okay, most importantly. 59. 59. <laughs> One more. All right, here we go. If the front diff makes it through, I've got to pay for the damage. If it doesn't make its way through, Max has got to pay for the damage. You ready? Yeah, ready. <laughs> I reckon if he hits it there, the arms will just break off and the, and the whole body will go through. If he misses and hits it like that, that's just going to be XRT completely toast. The diff's probably going to stay in it, but you're going to have to pay for it. Oh, it might go in half. Fast. Comment down below what you reckon is going to happen. Oh no, here we go. We've got a GoPro there, GoPro there, phone recording there, drone up there. The faster you go, the more likely you are for that front diff to make it through. Oh my god, you're doing it now. Are you actually going to stand there? Yeah, I can't stand ready? Yeah, ready. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Oh, he's blown out the tyre. We're going to borrow a tyre off for that one. But this is the giveaway one, so we don't want to really damage the tyre. So we're going to put that, that one on the back and hopefully it survives. If it doesn't survive, whoever wins the car is going to get new tyres, so don't worry. Don't break that wheel. <laughs> this is going to be expensive for one of us. Yeah. We've got someone coming to watch. So he's got to go quick. Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> completely missed. <laughs> oh, it's it's um you completely missed, dude. At the moment, you're paying for the damage. <laughs> no, the diff made it no, 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 you got to hit this bit. What's broken? You just broken these bits. Yeah, and that sh snap the chassis. Oh, you got to make it through now. <laughs> Look. Yeah, I know. Oh. <laughs> Does it still move? Oh, that sent the drive off then. Oh my god! 
Oh, I've been shaking. Is that it? Da, 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 da. What's the problem? The bullet has now come out. Oh, it's all melted in there. Oh, where'd you know, innit? That's <laughs> in. Get your drone back it's still up. Still fast enough, I reckon. Attempt number three. All right, here we go. Oh, it's gone. What happened now? Well, another one came out this time. Yeah, the other side. It's a shaking of it, isn't it? Making it come out. You need oh. something over the top of that to hold them in, dude. Do, yeah. Tape on there. Hold it all in. Attempt number four. Ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Number four. My wallet stays safe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could fix it and go for it again, but then you could cause more damage. I don't think that's fixable today. So what's, the, what's this? Oh! <laughs> so chassis done, bulkheads, arms done. There's a nice ESC here. Hub's done. Drive shaft. Do you know what? It held together really well. I it's thought it'd be a lot worse. Tracks us. I don't like your product. It's too strong. Oh, where's my diff? Wait. Oh! Wait. Oh! Oh, where that diff is depends. If that diff's made it through, I've got to pay. What happens if you can't find a diff? You've got to pay. No. <laughs> oh, you stupid. Ah, that's on that side. Diff's on that side. <laughs> Dude, that was so close. That diff could have made it through. Dude, I thought I had some going then. And I thought. <laughs> My wallet's in the right. We're good, we're good. Oh, look at the mess of that, man. Poor look XRT. Look at that. Oh. It's like crimps. If you guys want to see the extra camera angles and you want to see him trying to repair it, you have to check out Max's channel. What's your channel? Uh, Mad Max RC. There you go, check him out. Link down below. Everything gets, everything gets wrecked. <laughs> Luckily, my wheel survived. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Game over. It's looking like this big brother, the XRT. Oh dear. Chuck it in the old recovery vehicle. <laughs> Remember, if you want to win the Game Over X Max, all the details for that are going to be in the description box.